morning, ma'am. Yeah, good morning. Hi, Sita. Hi, ma'am. How are you? I am fine, ma'am. Hope you are fine. Yeah. Uh, you are from which location? Uh, I am from uh, Rajmanji, okay. Andhra Pradesh. Can you explain uh, detail your profile? Uh, ma'am, I am Sugita Viparthi. So, I am from a place which is called as Cultural Capital of Andhra Pradesh. So, I have uh, done my graduation specialized in electronics and communication. During my course, I have done a project based on DIP, which is digital image processing, where one will have a chance to learn uh, how a pixel forms an image. And coming to the modules where I am good at are COBOL and JCL and COBOL plus DB2. Okay. Uh... Actually, we are looking for the location in Chennai. Are you okay with Chennai location? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I'm flexible uh, with any kind of location. Okay. We are looking for the main kind of developer. First, we were Cobal only. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Uh, how can you rate yourself on Cobal out of five? Ma'am, I will rate myself four. Why? Because for each and every uh, uh, aspect, we have a chance to learn more and more. So, I rate myself four, ma'am. Okay, let's start with the technical. Okay, ma'am. What is the perform statement in Goma? Ma'am, perform statement is also called as looping statement. So, when we want to execute statements or logics number of times, then we can go for performs either with condition or else without condition. So, using this perform statement, we have few advantages that we can reduce the code complexity, we can reduce the manual efforts, we can reduce manual errors and we can save the execution time also. Okay, what is the difference between inline and outline performs? Ma'am, uh, basically performs uh, are classified into two types, one is inline and the other is outline. So, if we are writing the executable statements or logics between perform statement and end perform, it is called inline perform. And for outline perform, all the logics and executable statements will be quoted in paragraph and this paragraph will be called by the perform statement. The flow of execution is different for inline and outline. For inline, it is sequential flow of execution and for outline, it is a random flow of execution. The output might be same, but the flow of execution is different. And in inline perform, we no need to call paragraphs, but in outline, we have to call the paragraphs. Once the logics or executable statements got executed, the control automatically uh, goes back to the perform statement. So, uh, this uh, perform statement will be calling the para. So, before stop run, we call as calling para. After stop run, we call it as defined para. Okay, good. What is the difference between if and evaluate? Actually, if and evaluate, both are the conditional statements which are we are, which we are using in COBOL. So, if in if uh, if a conditional statement, there are different types like simple if, if else, else if, nested if. In evaluate, we can uh, have a single evaluate uh, statement where we can write 255 when conditions within a single evaluate statement. Here in evaluate, if the condition is true, then only the control enters into the when conditions or when statements. And here in if, if conditions, if the condition is true, then only the flow of control enters into the loop and executes the corresponding logics and terminates the loop. If the condition is false, it directly terminates the loop without any execution. Okay. What is the difference between conditional statements? conditional names ma'am conditional statements are nothing but if and evaluate where we perform the validations conditional names are, are the names which we use to build conditions to the variables so conditional names we use with level number 88 and there is no picture clause for conditional names and we can use these conditional names in conditional statements if and evaluate only why because these are not the data names Okay, uh, what is renames? Renames. So, if we want to regroup any variables, then we can use the renames clause. Renames clause is worked with level number 66 and here also there is no picture clause. So, if we want to rename group of variables or else any particular variable, then we can use renames clause. This we can declare in working storage section or file section of data division. Okay, explain renames. 
redefines redefines is one of the memory reducing techniques so in redefines we can use the already existing memory of the previous variable to the next variable so if we have the requirement of if we want to store same value to two or more variables then we can choose redefines clause and this redefines clause is applicable for 0 1 0 2 to 49 or 77 level numbers but we cannot use it for 66 and 88 level numbers else we get the compilation error okay what is the difference between comp1 and comp2 COM1 and COM2 both are the memory reducing techniques and we can also call it as compressed techniques in COBOL. So COM1 and COM2 both store the data in decimal format but the length is fixed for COM1 and COM2. For COM1 it is 4 bytes, for COM2 it is 8 bytes and COM1 is a single precision floating point and COM2 it is a double precision floating point. And the range of COM1 ranges from 0 to 22 decimal points and here this COM2 range is 22 to 55 decimal points and we don't use any kind of picture clause for both COM1 and COM2. Okay, what is the difference between COMP and COM2? COMP is also a memory reducing technique where we store the data in binary format and the memory calculation is based on the following range like if we say that uh, ranges from s9 of 2 to s9 of 4 it takes only 2 bytes if the range is from s9 of 5 to s9 of 10 s9 of 9 it takes 4 bytes if the range is s9 of 10 to s9 of 18 it takes 8 bytes here s is nothing but the sign data type which takes the sign table values and here COM3, here COM3 we used to store the data in packed format and in COM3 we are using the concept of slack byte. Slack byte is used to store the signed values. So in COM3 every digit takes half byte memory. So this is preferable when compared to all other computational variables. Okay, can you explain search and search for operations? search and search all operations actually when we want to search any particular element in our table then we can prefer search and search all so for both the operations indexed by clause is mandatory so here we use indexed variable not the subscript variable okay what is the difference between string and unstring operations String operations. A string is nothing but a group of characters and these group of characters we represent within codes. So if we want to perform string operation, particularly we require three delimiters. One is space, the other one is size and the other one is user defined. In string operation, we have multiple sending fields and single receiving field. That is, we combine multiple strings to form a single string. Um, and when coming to unstring, we have single sending field and multiple receiving fields in unstring operation and we have only two delimiters that is a space and user defined. Okay. Uh, and then with your interview, okay. I'll update you. Thank you so much ma'am. I will get back to you. Thank you ma'am.